Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to discuss 10 viva questions related to bacterial motility or motility testing. Now a video related to the theory part of this practical is uploaded on my channel. So you can watch that video. Now let's start with the viva questions. So first is what is bacterial motility? So bacterial motility refers to the ability of bacteria to move or exhibit self propulsion. What are different types of bacterial motility? So generally bacteria, they are categorized into two main types that is flagellal, flagellal motility and non flagellal motility. Now, how do bacteria exhibit flagellal motility? So bacteria with flagellal motility, they possess long whip like appendage, which is called as flagella, which rotates and it helps in uh, movement. Okay. Then what are two major types of flagellar arrangements in bacteria? So two main types which are predominantly observed in the bacteria. They are peritricus that is flagella present all over the surface of the cell and polar that means one or uh, many bacteria, uh, many flagella, they are present at either one end or the both the ends of the cell. Okay, then how does bacterial non flagellal motility occurs? Now, in case of some bacteria which do not have flagella, still they show a certain kind of motility. So, there are various mechanisms which are as gliding, twitching, or swarming. Now, how do we differentiate and classify bacteria depending on the number of flagella? So this is how you differentiate and classify them. Ertricus is one which has no flagella. Monotricus, which has single flagella at one end. Amphitricus, which has single flagella on both the ends of cell. Cephalotricus means a cluster of flagella on both the ends of the cell. Peritricus means flagella present all over the bacterial cell surface. And lophotricus is a cluster of flagella pre present at only one end. Okay. Now, next is what is the difference between pili and cilia? Okay. So, pili or pili, they are thin hair like appendages that extend from surface of certain bacteria. And cilia, they are short hair like structures that extend from the surface of certain microorganisms, but mainly you will see cilia in case of eukaryotic cells. Okay, so don't get confused here. These are different structures. Okay, flagella, pili or pili and cilia. Okay, now next question is does cilia and pili they help in motility? So the answer is cilia, they are involved in motility of few microorganisms, but primarily you will find cilia, which helps in motility in eukaryotic cells. Okay, now pili or pili, they are primarily functioning, they are, or their function is to attachment and not motility. Okay, so they help in attachment and not motility and pili help bacteria to adhere to surfaces including host tissue or other bacterial cells which help in colonization biofilm formation and other interactions okay so cilia in few organisms you will see yes cilia helps in motility but pili no pili has nothing to do with the motility okay then next question is what are the advantages of bacterial motility so bacterial motility allows bacteria to explore new environments as it can move from one place to another to find nutrients to escape harmful conditions and it facilitates interactions with other bacteria as well. Then next is how is bacterial motility studied in laboratories. So bacterial motility can be observed uh, using two different techniques that is first is microscopic examination where we do hanging drop or wet mount and second is soft agar plate or tube assay okay so this is a simple uh, image here through which you can see how you adjust your slide on 10x and then how you observe adjust and observe on 40x okay so this is the edge of your hanging drop okay 
and these are bacterial cells and this is the age of your concave depression okay so if you are not familiar with this then do watch my another video which is uploaded on my channel regarding practical of bacterial motility testing okay so i hope this video is helpful to you do like my videos do share these videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you